That was crazy. Ah, buenos dias. Today is such a special day. Guys, guys, guys. Es que no puedo creer que está pasando. Esto fue como un sueño que era como imposible de alcanzar. I can't even believe that I'm saying these words. I'm taking you with me behind the scenes of a Morphe campaign that we're shooting for Ulta Beauty and for Times Square. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna go to Ulta and see the final campaign in store. Before I lose my shit, let's go to set. Not used to these. Okay, we're in the makeup chair. Good morning. So nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I found this in the makeup room. These are the pictures that Morphe saw of me that made them want to work with me. And this is the inspo for today's photo shoot. So I'm in the makeup chair and it's the first time I've ever had two makeup artists working on my face at the same time. It felt a little bit weird. I get that we're pressed on time. So far, I've been in the makeup chair for about an hour and a half. I like where this is going. Oh. This look, it's not even done yet. My hair's not done yet. These lips, juicy. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna be really, really careful, but I haven't eaten yet. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's gonna be center part. Ooh, I love the center part. With a little bit of shine. For the vlog. In terms of mood, the creative director referenced Maddie from Euphoria and told me to really tap into sultry and sexy. So those are the vibes. Every single person on this set was such a joy to work with. So now we're just looking over some of the pictures that we just got, looking at the different angles. I've never felt so pretty. I don't even know how to explain it. The only thing that sucked is that I had these earrings clipped onto my ears and they hurt so bad. My ears were bright red and I felt like I could have passed out. So I took them out and then I went to the social media team and we did some video content. <laughs> Also, people taking off my eye makeup just felt really uncomfortable, but they insisted that way I didn't mess up my foundation. Anyway, what we just shot is the main image for the campaign launch. Other than that, we're just taking close-up images of my eye using the palette in different ways. <laughs> totally makes sense. She's like, look down, look up. Now we're doing two different looks on each eye. This is silver or metallic. And what's this one? Like, oh, rose gold? Rose gold. Yeah. Rose gold and metallic. That's so cool. Yeah. Going really, really well. We've only done two makeup switches. We're doing social video content. We haven't done any group shots yet, but maybe we'll do that at the end. Okay, guys, come with me. Let's go. We're an hour behind. That's a wrap on me. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I tried to film as much as I could today, but some moments got really, really crazy. I just feel so blessed and I'm so grateful. And this is the part where we go to Ulta and we see it in person. We ah! just got here. Big. Loves me. What? what what i can't believe it like that was crazy that was crazy i can't believe that if you take anything away from this video i want it to be that dreams do come true even if they seem crazy out of reach unrealistic stupid embarrassing dreams do come true you have to work really hard you have to be consistent and they do come true. I come from a really humble family. Mi mamá es de Salamina, mi papá de otro pueblito. I have no ties to anyone in this industry. 
I just worked really hard. I put so much effort, so much love. I had to connect all those dots for myself and I had to make things happen for myself. Yes, modeling, it's mostly about your look, but what a lot of people don't know is that it actually takes a lot of effort to get a career started and to get a career going. Guys, the amount of hours that I put into creative directing shoots for myself, going to stores, buying clothes, coordinate, coordinating with photographers and stylists and makeup artists, trying to get shoots for free, having to pay for some of the shoots. You have to build a portfolio, you have to find the right team. Not even joking, I would drive three hours to go to a casting one way and then drive three hours back. I remember taking naps in my car. I'm like 17 at this point. A moment like this, it, like, it shows you the fruits of your labor. If I would have just sat on my ass at home waiting for opportunities to come to me, this could have never happened. But I really believe in making things happen for yourself and just creatively coming up with ways to make things work in your favor.